Hello everyone and we're at it again. You've come to Deb Chanel's 40th World and we got things to talk about. So come on in the room, come on in the house, sit down with your favorite beverage and let's get to chewing the fat. Let's talk about this information here. Now you see who's on the screen. Yes, she has made me come out to talk about her and her comings and goings. All right. Now on the street, and when I say the street, I'm talking about the social media streets. They saying that Cynthia said that she got out of Real Housewives of Atlanta because she wanted to save Mike from, or uh, she wanted to protect Mike from reality TV curse. I like girl. <laughs> That's when I thought. Just when I thought you had got some business about yourself. And you weren't going to be telling any more lies. I was like, where is your PR person? Where is your PR person, Cynthia? Because you're going on all these live, well, taped, I shouldn't say live, taped programming, uh, reality shows, not reality shows, but um, where you kind of really just call them gossip shows. You know, if you go to the Tamara Hall show, you go to the Wendy Williams show, you go to Ellen. Uh, it's just a celebrity show for celebrities to talk and chew the fat about what they're doing, how they're doing, and what they're going to be doing in the future, and what's com currently being told about them on them social media streets. You know, they got to basically do that kind of situation. And Wendy Williams had already told her she needed to leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta because, you know, hey, her time has come and she needs to move on. And Cynthia, you know, was just on ET or Access talking about uh, she was tired of reality shows, but she would not close the door on them. Now, how are you protecting Mike if you say you don't want the door to close if an opportunity came up for you to come back on reality television? Now, are you worried about the curse and protecting Mike? Or are you worried about the money? And you being still in the spotlight. Let me know, Cynthia, because the lies that you're telling or the stories or explanations you got going on is not adding up. It's like you don't put more eggs on your face. And not that they're just fried, died, and laid to the side and thrown in your face. No, they do, we just cracked them or beating them up in the uh, batter or the bowl and we just do it on your face that's pretty much how it's going either you want the money and steal the fame or the being known as who's who or you want to protect your marriage go on in the sunset and just do marketing on many of your brand name stuff you have out there your luggage your eyewear hell the daily agency modeling thing but no you still searching to go around here doing television tapings and saying how you felt about retiring from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Which we all know, and you had to come out sooner or later, rather later than sooner, to tell us you weren't going to be a part of the franchise anymore. Even though we had already heard, already heard, girlfriend, that you weren't going to be a part of the show. That you got asked back as a friend, even though you've been a peach holding peach for i don't know how many years i guess since season three i want to say three or four and you just been on there being the how most people want to categorize you as the keep the uh peace type of person and i'm like we don't need no keep no peace person we don't need no keeping the peace person okay because either you're gonna be about them hands and put paws on folks or you're gonna sit down and talk verbally Okay, without using cuss words, but on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, that's all they know is to use cuss words, and I can't say anything about it because some cuss words fly out my mouth, and I had to repent, you know, at night when I'm saying, oh, I repent right then and there. Okay, but sometimes you just be in the mood, and that's all thing that comes to your mind is a good old-fashioned cuss word. Okay? Kenya should know about that because she used them, okay? And Nene. And let me see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Can I think? Marlo. <sighs> I guess the real. Well, Portia, she kind of. Portia about them hands. She wasn't too much about all that verbalness. So I can't use her. <laughs> I 
course I want to say she want to go back and sling some of Kenya hair. Because that was funny. That was funny. Uh, Portia was going around and slinging everybody down. <laughs> but we ain't talking about Portia or Kenya on this video. We talking about this young lady. Okay. And the way she's going around here showing her cleavage. See, that was classy. When she was with Peter, she was class act. I'm telling you, she was giving face all day as well as fashion. And I was like, I can't take that from Cynthia. That girl knows she know how to dress. And she knows she got the look that come with it. And that makeup, flawless. And she be doing her own makeup, guys. So we got to give credit where credit is due. That's why I said, I don't know why she don't hype up her face her Bailey agency. And, and get some new acts in there. Because, you, you know, you, you can't hold Facebook for too long. But, you know, she in her 50s and she holding it real good. I don't kind of like that look on her. I don't like all that. It seems like it should have been a lot more lighter and not pronounced like that. But anyway. Yeah, Wendy had already told her, honey, your time has come and go. You need to go. And I guess Cynthia could have told her, minus all the bereavement she's been doing with, you know, her health. And uh, her health not being as well as it should be and then you know other things she's got going on and then you know her husband left her for a younger woman and he and she spending up all her heart or working money that would depress the hell out of me too and i'd be like okay where, where's a drink well where is something so i can calm my nerves i can't believe i signed this bogus contract with this man that don't cheated on me that said he was gonna be with me to death through his part you know really when the lord called me home and nothing else being rushed to uh, you know for the demise of me okay just natural cause it's just natural cause but uh yeah i'll be in a deep depression too <sighs> all the money and time she helped try to build her and her family legacy and stuff and then he's just gonna get tired one day and throw her away like a dirty old rag or whatever and get him something new and have a baby and move on into the sunset so you know for most people being it on the female side or a male side whoever got you know done wrong in a relationship is what i'm trying to say feelings be harbored you know what i'm saying you be you be having some will th ill will thoughts in your head about the whole situation and it depending on if, what type of help you get and the prayer and all that kind of stuff to help you get through that difficult time. Because it's, it's, it's okay when you have split or got divorced amicably. But when one person didn't do something right in the relationship and it made it go south and then it ended up to where separation had to be a thing. And then it ended up, well, divorce is the only concept conceivable for us to be partaking of at this time. And, you know, you can say, okay. <laughs> All right. How much I might uh, get this man to relinquish him from my life? Okay. And then, you know, some people, they tend to not want to do that. But, you know, Wendy and Cynthia and countless other women and myself, not on their celebrity status, but a majority of us have gone through a bad divorce or a divorce. And it's, it's like a bereavement, you know. And Cynthia can definitely relate because she, um, had uh peter uh or patricia however y'all want to see her see him uh it was a bad thing because he was taking her money and then they said he was cheating on the side all of it's allegedly but we do know because she confessed that herself that he was spending some money that he had no business spending and she couldn't trust him more trust was gone then the whole thing about him having a foul Woo, you know but i just like i had to call out a spade when a person is being a spade i'm like cynthia you were just on somebody's show because I was watching it. Like, or somebody, it was, it was a, a taped show or well, it was an interview whether she was doing what I think it was Access, uh, Hollywood or whatever. And she, you know, they was asking her how she feel about not being a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise and this, that, and the third. And then she, you know, they said, would you, if you were asked to come back, would you come back? And she know for a fact, and it off of her bone. Offer her a half of a piece. She would be right there signing that contract and like put me on. But in my mind, now in my gut feeling, I really felt Mike told her, you ain't going to let them demote you like that and then stay on that show so you could be humiliated on it. No, you ain't. No, you going to quit that job. And uh, what's her name? Cynthia followed suit and did it. Now, that's just my opinion. Uh -huh. I felt things went down. Because Cynthia would sign that contract. She still would have been a friend of the show. 
because she's thinking about her revenue, her money. But, you know, might, you know, all up in her business, I believe. And that's what we got here. Uh, she didn't want the friend, and that's all they were offering her at the time. And they was like, okay, see you later. But then they thought about it. They had an epiphany. They said, why don't we just put Cynthia on that, uh, that ultimate girls trip, OG style, you know, with the has, other has-beens. And maybe, you know, keep some of the current people, like Kenya, she's currently being shown uh, on the ultimate girls trip. And she over there getting in trouble with uh, shoot, I don't forgot who they said she was fighting with. They kind of find out she was having an argument with Cynthia over there. I'm like, what are they fussing about? Because one of them sure ain't coming back. So is this going to be shown? No, I don't think so. Because that's on the Peacock, uh, what do you call it, streaming service. And I won't be watching it because I ain't finna sign up for not now streaming service, okay? I'm already obligated to Hula and uh, Netflix every month i sure ain't finna get into another subscription because it would about something it would been on the bravo franchise where i can get it on my normal stations but it is what it is but yeah honey babies family cynthia don't set up that said she want to protect mike from reality tv knowing that son of a gun want to sit there and be on tv any type of outlet he can just as long as it's not sports related because he's trying to make his way into the entertainment field as well and you talking about you want to say mike mike loved all that film and time honey he wasn't missing that damn uh incentive to be out there and you know for a fact cynthia you know for a fact and it come coin or uh anybody Related to the show, ask you to come back. You right back there. You ain't trying to protect him. You are not trying to protect him. So stop lying. Just take it in grace. Take it as it is. They didn't want you back. And just say, you know, pretty much. Uh, they wanted you as a friend contract. And you try to make a little pun. Like you, you made up the the friend contract with that Nene thing you did. Having her sign and all that stuff. But who got the last laugh? Hell, they got the last laugh, Cynthia. So I wouldn't even bother up no friend contract. See, that's what I'm saying. No way I seem like she got a better take on life and handling situations better than you. Shoot. They need to have the... Well, I don't know. They might be bringing that out. The kids are the Real Housewives uh, franchise. They, you know, they own a show. Making them out there. I'm like, the hip-hop people can do it, I guess. Uh, Bravo can turn out and, and be the hip, uh, the kids of the Real Housewives <coughs> franchise. But yeah, honey, that woman right there fixed her face to say she protecting her husband. I'm like, Mike don't need no protector. He's always been on the uh, screen. He's been, uh, been a sports arena screen, him, him been on doing commentary. But he's still always been behind the camera. He loved the camera, and he needs the camera. Okay, because whatever happened to his book? Is it selling well? Can anybody get in the comments and tell me how his book is selling? Is it is doing fairly well? Or, you know, how is it faring out there? Uh, and then, again, you know, silly me, silly me. I guess you're going to be like Sheree, having fashions with no clothes. And, and, and trying to say you got a sports line coming out called Joggers or their Joggers athletic wear. And we ain't seen that. So now you telling me you and Mike are supposed to be having some kind of dating show? At least yeah, that's what y'all were talking about when y'all were dating and we were watching you all's comings and goings and him proposing to you and then it didn't even get taped. Then you thought they were going to get taken. You, girl, I'm like, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. But okay, y'all know what we're talking about. Let's go on in to what page six brought out on her and their relationship and what Cynthia had to say about she trying to save her marriage. She trying to save Mike from the curse of being on reality TV. I'm like, what's cursing her? He was on one of the season with you. Giving all getting all your playing time and, and fixing up this engagement situation. He was already so he already cursed Cynthia. What the hell are you talking about? But anyway, that was my speech. We all heard it. Y'all know how I get down. Now let's get on into this article. Now it's again from page six. And it's by um, I think it's Elaine Risen. Okay, she titled her article, Cynthia Bailey wants to protect husband Mike Hill from reality TV curse. Alright. 
Chill is not taking any chances. Cynthia Bailey admits in a new interview with Page Six that part of the reason she left Real Housewives of Atlanta was because she wanted to protect her marriage to sportscaster Mike Hill. Now, I call foul on the play. I, I call Cynthia a liar. She didn't want to leave. They didn't want her back. Cynthia, just face facts. It's better to face the truth than live in your own little bubble world. And you say what you your mind is telling you, but that's not in what's happening in reality, baby. But going on from back from my spiel to the article, after going through my divorce with my ex, Peter Thomas, I'm very protective of my second marriage because, you know, I really want it to work. And I want to do everything that I can to protect it and to protect Mike. The reality star exclusively told us this week. <sighs> Bailey 54 announced in September she quit Real Housewives of Atlanta after 11 seasons. She and Hill 51 just celebrated their one year wedding anniversary on October 10th. I like Cynthia. Correction. Minor error. You were demoted, baby. Demoted. You did not want to take what they were offering you because they weren't giving you your peach back. You lost it. You even said you missed your peach. And you wanted this. Girl, you would have been on this train, this gravy chain, <sighs> until the wheels fell off. But they didn't want you no more, Cynthia. Get in therapy. Accept that, hey, you got fired. Well, you got demoted, however you want to look at it, fired, demoted, demoted, fired, whatever. It wasn't on your doing. It wasn't like you took a stand and said you were leaving. You, your contract didn't get renewed as a full-time peach holder. It got renewed on a friend basis. Okay? Accept it. Deal with it. Live it. Okay, going back to the article, it said the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star told us the Bravo show is a little bit of a slippery slope at times and not always the most positive atmosphere to bring your family and your husband into but you did it very well Cynthia you did it very well for so many years girl that was your gravy train okay you bit off of it and you ate it as much as you could and you got all your advertisements and uh showcasing all your brands you were uh, putting out there and all that good stuff so don't try it just live in your truth and that is the truth okay all right going back to the article it says um bailey speaks from experience she wed thomas on the show during her first season as a housewife in 2010 and their marital vows uh woes played out on camera for years they eventually split by 2016. no cynthia it had nothing to do with you being on reality tv okay because half of we well half of it we know as being in the uh age of reality tv majority of it is script and edited out and either made to, for you to look good or made for you to look bad it's gonna fall one or the other it's not gonna be both okay and like you gave us throughout the seasons you were on in my opinion you were lukewarm, okay? And you can't even be lukewarm from a Christian standpoint. You got to either be in fire of it or you just got to be totally, you know, un uninvited or uninterested. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but again, you are a straddler. You go where the most popular vote is being cast. And that's just how you do things. You go under the radar and hope nobody sees you any different from anything you want to be let in you want to be a part of and you're just hoping to gracefully be that balanced person that neutral person you know <sighs> and we don't need that in reality tv we need drama cynthia so you ran your role for as long as you could have and the public spoke they didn't want you anymore okay and it won out this time because it really you really should have been gone i could have dealt with kim fields i could have dealt with even seeing shamara behind uh on there for a little longer but no 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 baby let's deal with what's the truth do we have to get nowhere on you girl 
But anyway, going back to the article, it said, honestly, whether we were on the show or not, I don't think it would have worked out now. The Bailey Agency CEO said of a first marriage, now, let me, be very cl- let me be very clear, I don't think being on the show helps your relationship. Well, Cynthia, if you're living the truth or living your truth in the relationship, whether you're being filmed or not, we all know marriage has its ups and downs. And unfortunately, you chose to sign a contract to show us some of your ups and downs. And depending on how boring or good it is and how good the editing is, we would get to see what they want to show us. And half the time, it's probably not showing you fairly well in the situation or anybody on reality TV. They want drama. They want suspense. They want a resolution. And they don't want no uh, unicorns and everything and unisons and harmony. Or hell, we would have kept the the uh, Sean Snow from season one. But she was all about the Lord. She was all about her business of serving the Lord. And she knew what, you know, what type of life she wanted to live. And the only thing Barbara wanted to do was throw salt on all that darkness and, and, and show some negativity. And she learned the game quick. She like, okay, I, I thought it was something I could do. But nope, I can't do it. Mm-mm. I can't do it. I can't be in the devil's playground. So she pretty much opted out. And, you know, and she was cool with it. And, of course, Real Housewives of Atlanta was just starting. It was brand new. And so most of the people were Gunning for or uh, uh, coming back for each episode during that season to see Nene Leakes. Because she really hit the uh, ball out the park. She came to play. All right. And then with Kim being added into that mix and her Big Papa story, it was all like popcorn. Because it was, like I said, new. It was fresh. And everybody needed a little drama who all that basically wanted to look at the show. So it was good while it lasted. But as we saw y'all in y'all formative years and you were getting, you know, uh, money started making you look better than what you were already looking. And then, you know, the wealthy part of you, when you got several seasons under your belt, you start getting into owning stuff. You start getting into entrepreneurship and, and showing another side and stuff. So it was like a growing period. But at some point, you just stop, Cynthia. You just stop growth, everything. You're just, you're just sitting there like a bump on a log. Like we could have cast you over. You know, anchored you under the sea. And then we got tired and we need to move on. And we will let you back up. But you were just giving us like dead wood pretty much. Or at least in my opinion. But again, I have to give you props. When it comes to fashion. When it comes to that face being beat. Girl, A1s across the board. Or tens across the board. Can't give you nothing but that. But child. Your relationships. That you form with men and, and women. It's questionable, very, very questionable. And when you go and do these interviews, I be sitting like, why are we even letting her talk? I'm almost like Kim Zosie. Just sit there, look pretty, don't say nothing. Just sit, look pretty, but don't say nothing, okay? Don't say nothing, Cynthia. But anyway, that was my spiel. Going back um, to the article, it said, but if your relationship is not solid or there's issues you guys are going to do, you guys are dealing with, those issues are going to play out whether you're on the show or not. So that's just what it is. Now, you know, if somebody, you're in an argument with your spouse or partner, however you want to be, you ain't going to be on uh, live television or tape television and your spouse getting the best of you. You go, uh uh-uh, this finna show around the world. Man, I'm finna get into his behind, you know what I'm saying? And we just gonna go have have at it, and then we got to deal with the blowback or how editing show up. We'll deal with it then. But you ain't finna get the best of me. That's what you be thinking in your head. You know what I'm saying? And most people can handle that pressure. Some people can't. But going back to the article, it said um, Thomas also previously spoke of the challenges of being married while on a reality show. That's right, because when you got the cameras following you and people know who you are now and they want to uh, film you just in case you cut up, they'll put it on their social media outlet and it's going to blow up. You know, you get viral, you go viral. But yeah, got to watch your step when you're out there. When you, people know who you are, they know you're connected to a certain brand out there. And, and they just be either want to be a part of your world or they want to uh, pretty much uh, tape your world and put it out there. Okay. But um, 
those are the challenges you know you chose this career field and it makes you become very lucrative with financial uh gain so with that you are putting yourself in a fishbowl and we as an audience are looking at you to entertain us and that's pretty much what it is you don't have a life to yourself anymore but um going back to the article um it says while the show is not the single contributing contributing factor to the turmoil in a relationship real housewives of atlanta had a lot to do with it the restaurant of tears said in july 2016 reality tv can be a blessing and a curse and it provides tremendous opportunities but it also puts one hell of a strain on a relationship especially if the foundation is not solid um bailey reiterated to page six that she really wants her marriage with heal to work but clarified that the talk show did not pressure her into leaving uh real housewives of atlanta mike is supportive either way she told us but i think he is very excited for me to be in on television in other ways something a little less drama based yes because he uh i remember mike saying that since it was the only classic person on them candy was okay because he's trying to rub heads with her to get through and make connections for him as well in that other arena of entertainment <coughs> so he didn't want to brush over her but he said other women were ratchet so i'm like cynthia um if he was sitting there talking about your co-stars and you did have a relationship off camera with these people shouldn't you be looking at him some kind of way because i'm sure some of your money that you made on this tv show okay around your ratchet classmates is lacing his pocket somewhere okay because i know you paying for certain things he ain't paying for everything so you need to ask him to rethink or have his mind retrained to how he think about ratchet tv because still putting food on the table clothes on the back and shelter is in place uh because she was part of that ratchet tv show and around some of those ratchet women so cynthia yeah you need to check him and then check yourself okay because i'm sure he wouldn't be letting you talk about his uh playmates or his cohorts in the sports arena okay ah <sighs> just had to check you there since just had to check you because you kind of sounded kind of crazy as usual but you know come on now you're going into your 55 going upward you know 60s and we need you to be either hush like uh kim said look pretty or just just look pretty for the camera don't say too much okay don't, don't say too much because you be contradicting yourself all the time you open up your mouth but anyway uh bailey who will be on peacock's ultimate girls trip in november and is also working as a seagram's escapes ambassador said she also is very excited because she's bringing out a new uh drink for them uh, who cares you know what i'm saying because i tried that peach bellini it was horrible Whew, it was horrible and it was just one me my daughter uh, tasted it and her husband tasted it and they felt the same way and we are tropical fruity type drinkers and that was just horrible but anyway going back uh i just need a little bit of a break she said adding that she would consider one day going back to the housewives but not right now right now i need a break and i want to focus on some of these other things i've got going on now see santa that's what i'm saying in that statement those are your words one statement you saying you wanted to spare your husband mike from anything dealing with reality tv because you feel it's a curse then you coming back talking about uh you want to go back to housewife <laughs> so i'm like girl give me face and fashion all day and sit down give me face fashion all day and sit your ass down somewhere okay and make some money on your businesses you already have established out there and, and that's all i want you to do Cynthia. in my opinion all right but that's all i have for this particular video if you like it love you gotta have more okay share my videos share 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 and like my videos okay and guys i will see y'all next time peace out